Hi everyone, so now we will learn that how we can use JSON server APIs with the React Native and again we will integrate the get method API. So you can ask like uh, we already implemented get API method maybe three or four times why we are not uh, integrating post, put, delete, these kind of APIs. See, uh, whenever you are using JSON server with the React Native, we have to do some basic configurations like uh, we have to run our uh, JSON server with the IP address and we have to access our uh, local IP inside the emulator, Android emulator and uh, uh, iOS emulator and all. That's why I just wanted to show all of these configuration and with a simple API and from next API, from next video, we will integrate the post, put, delete all other APIs also, alright. So uh, we can start with the points. So firstly, we will run our JSON server with the IP address, then we have to check that uh, uh, do JSON server is properly working with the IP address and or not. Uh, even we will check our IP address uh, with API uh, in Postman also. And uh, then we will access our uh, system IP with the uh, Android emulator. And at last, we will cover some important interview questions. Three things that you need to just keep in mind. First thing is that command which is ipconfig that will help you out to just uh, get your local IP of your system after that uh, you have to run json server with the hyphen hyphen host 0 .0 .0 .0 .0 0.0.0.0 dot 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 not dot after db dot json file right so that uh, you can run your local uh, server on the json server on the uh, ip address and after that once you want to access your local system ip inside the android emulator or uh, ios emulator you have to use this command uh, this actually address right with the 3000 port so that uh, you can access your systems json server inside the android emulator all right so now firstly let's check the ip address of your system just put their cmd and just simply run their uh, ip config and once you will run here you will find some ips uh, different different ips just go with the ipv4 address right here you can see that and let's see is it accessible or not in your system let's check it right currently you can see that this is not accessible right so uh, what we can do that for so now let's open uh, your uh, uh, api folder because there we already just created a json server file which is db.json right just simply open their cmd like this and now just simply put their json server minus minus host 0 dot 0 dot 0 dot 0 and then your file name which is db dot json hit enter and now it should run on your local system uh, local host so now let's just simply put their local host 3000 and here you can see that we can access it and this is our uh, get api complete address so now let's check it with the postman also just select the get method from there and here we can so see that so that means our json server is accessible now through the ip address perfect so now next thing what we can do that we have to access our ip address inside the android emulator right uh, and that for that we will use this uh, address that's okay no issue so now we can just start with the code directly so let me just uh, simply use their use effect right because this is a uh, hook which is used for uh, lifecycle methods and i want to just execute it only once our uh, component is execute and now so that i've just put their empty array and now let's simply just create a one more function get api data right and uh, let's simply just create a console.log like function called and let's try to call it get api data it should be called now here we go perfectly this is working perfectly fine now let's take a constant const url and this is our url for our ip copy it paste it there but don't keep uh, don't uh, just forget to change this ip with the 10 dot 0 
डॉट टू पॉइंट टू राइट परफेक्ट एंड नाउ वट यू कैन डू दैट यू कैन टेक वन मोर कॉन्स्ट और लेट्स जस्ट टेक लेट ना लेट रिजल्ट फेच एंड यूअर यू आर एल इज शुड बी देयर राइट एंड बिकॉज इट फैच ऑलवेज रिटर्न अ प्रोमिस सो जस्ट यूज दिस फंक्शन एज अ सिंक अवेट जस्ट बिफोर द फैच आई एम नॉट एक्सप्लेनिंग ईच एंड एवरी पॉइंट अगेन एंड अगेन बिकॉज वी ऑलरेडी इंटीग्रेटेड द गेट ए पी थ्री एंड फोर टाइम सो देर आई ऑलरेडी एक्सप्लेन ईच वर्ड मीनिंग सो यू कैन वॉच अवर प्रीवियस वीडियो इफ यू डोंट हैव एनी बेसिक आइडिया अबाउट ए पी आई एंड ऑल राइट and now let's just override this uh, result and I simply say that result dot json because previously this is in the readable format and now that will be in the json format perfect so let's store this result inside uh, or if you want then you can just try to check is there data we have data or not inside the result variable right so here we can see that inside the constant uh, inside the console dot log we are getting the old data here you can see that right so let's grab this data inside the state so what i'm going to do there let's take const data set data use state by default could be empty array great and now simply remove this console just use there set data this this choose result and after that let's uh, just check if data has some length that means this is not empty then just put there data dot map even i already told you about map uh, three or four time that's why i'm not explaining it again let's take uh, it there is a callback function inside it so let's take it and let's create a view close this view and inside it we will just add some code but before that if the length is nothing then it should just null right copy this text paste it there three times why because i want to print three things first one is email address and uh, name so let me just change it item dot name and here you can see the output again i am putting there item dot age and last one i am putting there item dot mm, 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 item dot email address perfect if you just want to add bit style then you can add but i will just uh, just adding their bottom so that you can identify that uh, how many area is actually view this grabbing right just putting their style because this is not about the style and all so this is about the api calling right so i am not focusing on the style so background color could be let's say not background color border okay Just need to fix it actually bit because we have to use their view styles. There you can use uh, border color. Let's say red. Border width could be let's say one pixel. And now you will find a. like you can check that how many area this view is actually grabbing so inside this view uh, for every iteration we have a uh, name age and email address so that's all for this part i hope you enjoyed that video and you just learned something new and uh, if yes then please subscribe my channel like this video and share your feedback in comment section and this is my paytm donation number thank you guys